This story happened in July in the year 2016. We had the clown scandal in the U.S., and it was pretty crazy. People would dress up in clown costumes and stalk people, and sometimes even do worse. My friend Miguel and I went to spend the night at our other friend's house, whose name is Milo. We showed up at his house around 3 p.m. We just watched movies and ate snacks, just regular teenager stuff. Milo's house was next to a park, so we would usually go back to our home pretty late and walk the track. After watching movies all day, we eventually got bored of it, so we decided to go to the park and walk around for a bit. When we got to the park, the time was exactly 2.36 a.m. At first, we just walked around, talking about girls at our school and other stuff. After we rounded a corner around the park bathrooms, that's when we saw him. There was a man in a black and white clown costume with no mask on, standing by the swings. He was looking at us with his head slightly tilted over to his right side. I mentioned that he had no mask, so we could clearly see his face. The man had a really dirty face with long black greasy hair. And he had a creepy smile on his face. His smile was almost stretched cheek to cheek. Even though he was pretty far from us, we could still see that he was staring right at us. We got nervous and scared, so we agreed to run back to Milo's house, since we were on the side of the park. We started the countdown in a whisper. Three, two, one. And then we started running, as fast as we could, back to the house. After running for a minute, we made it to Milo's street and started running again toward his house in the middle of the road. When we made it to his house, we turned around to look down the street. And to our horror, we saw the man in the clown costume standing at the end of the road, only illuminated by a streetlight. He wasn't running or walking towards us. He just stood there. However, we were all sure that he followed us. And down in his hand, we were able to see that he was holding a long, sharp kitchen knife. We pounded the front door, ran inside Milo's house, and went into his living room. Milo asked what was going on, so we explained everything that just happened. He has one of those doorbells with a camera in it, so we sat in silence watching the monitor on the wall. We then saw the man walking down the street looking left and right at each of the houses, probably checking to see if we were hiding. That clown guy finally stood just in front of Milo's house. We all got shocked, but we tried not to scream at all. And all of a sudden, he was looking through that camera lens of the doorbell. That was the creepiest moment I've ever had before. Luckily, he kept walking down the street, and we never saw him again. And we've never spoke to anyone about this story. And to this day, I wonder what could have happened if we didn't decide to run to Milo's house when we did.